Despite the loss of millions in funding and a public outcry, tonight the mayor says, the mayor of Cincinnati, that is, says the streetcar project is still on track. Now, while the city has scaled down the route, 9 News reporter Scott Wegener tells us Mark Mallory's enthusiasm has not been derailed. I know there have been a lot of questions. Cincinnati Mayor Mark Mallory gathered the press together today to offer up answers to the fate of you know what. We are moving forward with the streetcar project. Despite the axing of $52 million from the state of Ohio and even a law passed in the state house prohibiting any state money going to Cincinnati streetcar, Mallory and the city manager say they're moving forward. Our overall vision has not changed regardless of the obstacles that we have had to contend with. The streetcar has been the vortex of a storm of criticism from opponents who see it as impractical and a waste of money. A charter amendment blocking the project is expected to make it to the ballot in November. Regardless of all the things that people that have issues with this project are saying, from the folks that have a responsibility to believe in this city and try to move it forward, we are unapologetic advocates. With just under $100 million to work with, the route has been scaled back. What is still being touted as from the zoo to the river now goes to neither. Instead of making it to the banks, the loop has shrunk back to Government Square. To the north, the uptown loop has been postponed for phase two with no word of when that might get built. The key thing is it is a starter line. How much, if any, political damage comes down the tracks because of the mayor's determination? My life experience has been that I make things work out. Remains to be seen. Scott Wegener, 9 News. The remaining money for the streetcar is coming from a combination of grants, private funding, and city bonds. The city manager says the plan is to break ground this fall.